Good morning, Flagler County. I'm Rich Carroll. You're listening to Flagler's Morning News on Wednesday, October 4th. What brought us to Flagler County was the opportunity to plan, develop, and construct the hospital that is now Advent Health Palm Coast. The man who led Flagler County through the COVID-19 pandemic has retired. Flagler County Health Officer Bob Snyder harkens back to more of his initial duties here in Flagler County. Memorial Health Systems hired me to be one of their administrators, and my job was to get that hospital planned and built. And so it's probably the biggest project that I ever did from a construction standpoint. Snyder then went to work as an administrator for Orlando Health, but he loved Flagler County so much, rather than move, he chose to have a lengthy commute. Michelle and I, my wife, we decided to live here and stay here. I'm glad we did because this is our forever home. And then when I left hospital administration in 2012, I retired the first time. Met Patrick Johnson through Rotary. He was the administrator. He needed a business manager. So he offered me the job and then he soon retired. And then I got appointed to take his place. So that's what I've been doing ever since. Snyder says leading the county's COVID-19 response was his biggest challenge. But we were successful because of the wonderful team that we have at the health department and also the wonderful partnerships with so many groups in the community like Flagler Broadcasting, like the County Emergency Management Director Jonathan Lord and our hospital and Wally DeKino and Dr. Bickle, our medical director. We just and all the volunteers that helped us. Gosh, we <laughs> tested and vaccinated 60,000 residents in our community, putting together the mass vaccination site at the fairgrounds where we inoculated 700 people a day through a drive through. We did that for months. And then we instituted a mobile vaccination program. He also touted a host of other accomplishments during his decade-long tenure. We were able to expand services at the health department. We were able to get an increase in general state revenue where our share of general state revenue is more equitable by way of an allocation. And that was done through the help of Speaker Paul Renner, who gave us a big assist to address the inequity and in funding issue. Operating special needs shelters after all of our hurricanes. I think we did that about seven or eight times. And another big accomplishment, I thought, was working with Flagler Cares to develop a new approach to treating people who are afflicted with opioid use disorders. Some more coordinated care approach. Bob Snyder, a 26-year resident of Flagler County, isn't going anywhere. However, as he retires, he offers these parting words to Flagler County. I absolutely enjoyed and loved serving you as your health officer, and I sure hope that we're able to make a difference in the lives of many individuals, especially during the COVID years. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. The weather played a part in keeping Flagler County relatively calm over the weekend. However, it was still a wild weekend of arrests in Flagler County. Karen Johnson has more on the Flagler County Sheriff's Office weekend roundup. The weekend began in the area of Palm Coast Parkway and Beltaire Parkway, involving a hit-and-run crash, according to Blackler County Sheriff Rick Staley. As she was fleeing, she struck the driver of the other car who had gotten out of their car. Trying to avoid more serious injury, the driver jumped onto the hood of the car. But that didn't stop this elderly driver who continued to flee at a fairly high rate of speed with the other driver holding on to the hood for life. The woman was arrested for leaving the scene of a crash and aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. She was transported to the Sheriff Perry Hall inmate detention facility and was released on a $20,000 bond. Then a pair of storage unit burglars were caught in the act. The renter of a unit had discovered people lurking around the property and thought the property that they had loaded onto a trailer looked familiar. He went back to his unit and discovered that a lock had been cut off and it was, in fact, his stolen property. In all, over the weekend, Flagler County Sheriff's Office deputies made 12 arrests, while deputies handled 592 calls for service and made 12 traffic stops. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.